Linux Mint with its Cinnamon desktop environment is widely considered to be one of the best and easiest to use Linux distributions, especially for someone who is just switching over to Linux for the first time. However, its default icons and overall flat look are not to everyone's taste, and some might consider Cinnamon a very outdated desktop experience. But what if I told you that it is much more customizable than meets the eye and that you can quite easily create a much different look and feel without compromising on stability and its unique features? In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create this layout on your Cinnamon desktop, no matter if you are on Linux Mint, Fedora or some other distribution that features it. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first thing that I like to change is the default wallpaper, since I prefer using it as the foundation to customize around rather than the opposite way. I right click on the desktop, select change desktop background and choose a wallpaper. I'm going with this one, which I downloaded beforehand. And don't worry, I'm going to leave a link in the video description below. If you want to use more than one wallpaper, then you can optionally enable the slideshow functionality in the settings, which basically place all the images in the folder you selected and also adjust the cropping if the image looks weird. Let's close it and move on to the layout adjustments. Right, so first things first. Let's move the taskbar, also called the panel on Linux, to the top of the screen. Then we're going to enable the edit mode and remove the grouped window list, the separator and show desktop applet with a right click. Afterwards, I'm going to take the calendar and move it to this green part in the middle to center it. Now this looks kind of bad still, so let's fix it. I'm going to enable the custom date format and paste these parameters in here. Don't worry about what they mean, I'm going to leave a link to a website in the video description where you can copy them as well or even create your own. Alright, so now let's close this window, right click on the panel and open up applets. In here we want to look for the workspace switcher, enable it by pressing on the plus button and I'm also going to move it all the way to the left. Afterwards we're going into its settings and choose simple buttons as the type of display. Next we're going to download a community maintained applet called Cinna Menu, which is basically an alternative start menu that is much more customizable than the default one. Once I enabled it back in the managed menu, I'm going to delete the old one from the panel since we can now already launch apps from the new one and also move it to the left. Let's customize it. I recommend that you go out of edit mode for this step since otherwise you sometimes cannot access all of its features and see what you are changing. What I like to do here is to set the option show favorites on sidebar to none, activate show favorite app category and disable the rest. I personally also don't really care for the information that pops up when hovering my mouse over an app, so I'm also going to set the application description placement to none. And finally I'm going to drag the favorites category onto accessories, so that it sits right underneath all applications. Under behavior I'm going to enable menu animations, deactivate the activate categories on click option, so that it automatically scrolls through them and set open favorite apps by default. In appearance I'm going to change the icon to cinnamon symbolic and delete the panel text since I personally find it distracting. And finally I'm changing all the menu items to a size that feels more natural to me. The values here could be different for you depending on your screen resolution and the scaling factor you've set. The next thing that I want to add is a second panel for quickly accessing applications. I like to keep these different from my favorites since I personally enjoy having an additional smaller collection of apps that I essentially use every single day. The first thing that I'm going to do is to make the top panel a bit thinner. 30 seems like an appropriate value on 1080p. Then I'm going to right click the panel and add another one to the bottom of the screen. For this panel I'm going to add the grouped window list applet, move it to the middle in edit mode and increase the width until the applications look a bit bigger. Alright, so that's it for the initial adjustments. Let's keep moving by now changing the themes. Open up the settings app and under themes and advanced settings I'm first going to download the Orc Idea theme from the inbuilt storefront and select it in the desktop category. As you can see this theme already makes the start menu and some other elements transparent. Now let's add some icon and window themes as well. These however need to be downloaded externally. Open up a web browser of your choice and search for Papyrus Cinnamon, the icon theme that we are going to install today. You should see a link that directs you to the website Cinnamon Looks, where you can simply download it on the right. I'm going to choose the version with the yellow folders. Next we head over to GDK3.4 themes, look for the Jasper GDK theme and download it as well. After all the downloads are finished, open up the file browser and first enable hidden files by either pressing Ctrl H on your keyboard or enable it under View Show Hidden Files. 
Then you go to the download directory and extract both files with a right click. Once that's done as well, you want to copy the papyrus folder to the .icons directory and the Jasper folders to the .themes one. Then we go back to the settings and select them in their respective categories. If for some reason the theme doesn't apply right away, try to relaunch an application like the file manager and it should apply. Now some finishing touches are of course to adjust the panel width so that the circle of open maps is actually a circle, that the lower panel automatically hides when the window moves over it and to pin apps to the desktop if you want. If the margins look a bit weird, then you can change them in the customize settings when right clicking the desktop. If you go into the opposite direction, like having a clean desktop, then you can also use desklets, which are basically the same thing as applets for the panel. I added a weather widget for example. And that was basically it. There are of course many more customization options, like using extensions, which can be downloaded via a pre-installed application, or use a different theme that makes other panels besides the top one into a dock. You can also further customize the feel of the Cinnamon desktop environment by enabling features like hot corners to launch an overview of your virtual desktops for example. But I think that this is a topic for another time. I really hope that this video could be helpful to you and that you now know that even if you don't like Cinnamon's out of the box aesthetics, that you can change them without compromising on the rest of its features. I'd also like to hear about your experiences and if there is something that I missed. I'm not really that deep into customizing my desktop after all. Anyway, before I end this video, I also wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel, make even better videos, then make sure to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future Linux videos. Thank you so much for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.